What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Boy, Jedediah Brown is something else. Jedediah Brown, number one, uh, this is a guy, I, I, I don't think I've ever covered anybody fascinating like this dude when it comes to activism or covering stories or just organizing people. The way that this does things, I'm amazed, okay? Um, he is definitely somebody you never wanna cross paths with. I can honestly assess that anybody in politics, it, like this is a guy you just don't wanna be dealing with. I, I mean, he's the guy is annoying, okay? In, in a good way, annoying. Like the guy has no chill, he will do anything. Now he's getting into a beef with this other guy, Michael Smith, All right? Michael Smith, who allegedly is a groomer. I don't know if that's actually what's on this record or not. I don't think so, but that's what they're saying about him. They're saying that he has a, a long history of, of having trouble with the police, although those have been uh, charges have been dropped. And yesterday, Mr. Michael Smith was on a stream yard with Marquise Wiley. Okay. It was a five hour stream yard. They're talking about things and all of this, but Michael Smith is more or less known for supporting and having serious support for Tiffany Hinyard. Okay. And Tiffany Hinyard has an affinity for guys who like to get in trouble with the law. Okay. Now, just in case you remember, there was Lavelle Redman. Okay. Lavelle Redman was convicted for doing something when he was a young man to another young lady. He spent some years in jail. And this is what Tiffany Hinyard did for him. Frustration growing in South Suburban Dalton after a Fox 32 investigation uncovers a registered child sex offender was recently put on the payroll. Now some residents are calling for the mayor's resignation. Dane Placco first broke the story and reports the pressure is building at Village Hall. We want transparency. About 20 Dalton residents and a couple trustees protest outside Village Hall today, furious after a Fox 32 investigation found this registered child sex offender on the public payroll. A sex offender, you don't give them carte blanche to go into different people homes. 46-year-old Lavelle Redman is close friends with Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who in September hired Redman as a code enforcement officer without the village board's approval. Okay, it was a known fact that Tiffany Henyard was his woman, okay? After she got rid of this guy, then there was Kamal Woods. Mr. Kamal Woods, who is like, they're like Bonnie and Clyde, he's always with her all of the time, they're together. But then there's Michael Smith. Now. What is Michael Smith's relationship to Tiffany Henyard? We know we know that Michael Smith was also a trustee in Dick Smore. Um, he moved to Riverdale, had a big fallout with the current mayor of Riverdale. Um, there, they don't get along. Ran for trustee board in Riverdale. He lost. But he's more known for taking up for Tiffany Henyard, coming to the Dalton Village meetings, which he really shouldn't be there because... I can see Thornton Township, but Dalton is really not his thing. Why he's there, I don't know. But he's known for making statements for the mayor like this. Good evening, Mayor and Board. I wanted to come out tonight um, as a neighboring resident in the village of Riverdale. And I like to see people involved in the media. But here it is. I have an indicted mayor that's serving in our community. And we don't have this much media coverage going on. But we over here having media coverage here, and we don't put out the good things that is happening. But you guys got to connect the dots, D-O-T-T-S, dots. All of this stuff is coming about because you got individuals fighting for seats. But I'm going to tell you, don't repeat history. And when I say don't repeat history, you better look in the city of Harvey. The city of Harvey had a mayor that the people wanted out so bad. And now you look and see what they got. You got to be careful. And one thing I want to say to the residents of Dalton, make sure you guys educate yourself. 
the trustees should not be having meetings outside of meetings that's already been scheduled by the governing body. You set your meetings at the beginning of the year and you meet. And then I, I wanted to say, I've never known as being a former trustee where always that one trustee is always the uh, mayor pro tem. You're supposed to take a vote. And amongst your vote, once the meeting is set, then you take your, uh, you take your mayor pro tem. But I also want to caution you guys. I, I did my research. Uh, Bert Olison is not a very good attorney. Take a look at the village of South Village. Same things is happening. The man in, in Maywood is going through the same thing. He causes chaos when he don't get what he wants. So I'm telling you guys, pay attention. So now this tea has come out, okay? Jedediah Brown posted this two hours ago. Oh my effing God, Michael Smith and Tiffany was in a relationship and lived together. Why doesn't this ever stop? It's something new every damn day. We have receipt. Kamal just found this out right now. LOL. Hashtag allegedly. All right. Now, <laughs> now let me just read some of these comments. Okay. It makes sense. Neither one of them can spell. Okay. Somebody goes and they lights was out. Okay. Another person goes, makes sense when it was said they were getting their rent paid with the city's money. Uh, other person goes, Lord, super head. I mean, super mayor need a, a movie at this point. Another one. I see she gets around Mr. Rogers neighborhood. Ain't got nothing on her. I see. Oh yeah. She, she's out here. She's out here getting clapped up guys, uh, by a lot of dudes. And it's so bad. I've heard several brothers say, I'm gonna just put this out there. I know a lot of black men feel like this, right? She's so crazy that you know that whatever she got is good. I would have to admit that it, 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 um, I know a lot of brothers have been saying, I mean, I know she got some cheeks, you know, I know she got some good cheeks. I probably would believe it. Okay. I probably would believe that she probably knows how to clap something up. She, she got to, cause all she deal with is pookies and typically chicks. If you ever dealt with a chick that deals with nothing but pookies, Oh my goodness. It's like dealing with chicks who live in the projects back in the day. Oh my God. You don't want none of that. Mm. The chicks almost, almost got, almost got killed, man. Dealing with a chick that lives in the projects. Uh, story time music. So I was dealing with this chick in the Bay area, man. <sighs> Beautiful chick. The big old booty, big, big breasticles. It, she, she was, she was thick. So I used to uh, love clapping her up. I mean, I think she older now, right? Uh, I ain't seen her in almost 10 years, but um, if I can get to her now, I would be, and I'm pretty sure she's still fine, okay? But I would be afraid to clap them up because that's how, that's how good she was in the sheets. And um, it, she was so good in the bedroom, I would just be dying to get back in there. It, it, she'll make you wait like once a year. I, I lived in, you know, she lived in like Richmond, um, you know, I lived in Sacramento. She would live in Concord, things like that. So, you know, I would be waiting. And so I, it was like, I, I was going to UC Berkeley post back at the time. So before I went to medical school, I attended UC Berkeley extension post back. So, um, I was coming back from Pinole. I went to Berkeley, driving through Pinole, Hercules, something like that. And, um, um, you know, I ended up taking the freeway. I forgot where freeway it was. I came all the way uh, to Conquer. And that's like, you know, that's way on the other side. You know, it's not like going towards Sacramento. It's going way past you know, on the other side of the bay. So I ended up going from Berkeley to Conquer. Now that's like, I got to be to work at like eight in the morning. Okay. I stopped by at the time. Um, Lucky Save Mart. I forgot what it was. And here I am trying to sip and buy this chick us a Valentine's Day present. Now, the dude that she was with was crazy, okay? Now, she not telling me that the dude inside the house, all right? Because the dude is inside the house, like, a lot. So, I'm, I'm, I'm in there, out there, she out there with me, or whatever, and, um, you know, I, I'm sitting there. Dude got the gun in the house. I mean, dude, dude is a shooter. And I'm sitting out there, and it just so happened that as I was leaving, the dude was coming out the house. Yeah. 
So he like talking to her like, yo, who are you in the car with? She like nobody, you know, but I, I mean, I think he ended up whooping her, whooping her butt or whatever, but you know, beefing with her or whatever, it's all that. But I, I ended up going back home. But if it was like 30 seconds more, your boy might not be here today. I would have, I would have got clapped up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I, I, I'd have had, I'd have been, I'd have been dusted off. But that's, that's what happens when you deal with the chicks that have that kind of box. And a lot of you brothers know that's how it be. So you can try to clap up Tiffany here if you want to. You'll probably be addicted to her. Okay. So I'm not even going to fool with it. I don't have time. I'm saved now. I, I don't want to go back to the, that addiction to that project, uh, them project cheeks. I'm past that. I'm in Africa now. I don't want to go backwards in my life because I know how good those cheeks are. Those pookie only cheeks. No, I can't deal with that now. I mean, I'll be broke. And I'll tell every black man, stay away from chicks who live. Okay, and I'm talking about not just living in the projects, but chicks who are in the project style. Okay, project style chicks. And they, they know how to clap it up. Leave them alone. Because what they got, you're not going to be able to, it's too good. It's entirely too good. You be crying when they leave you and stuff. You be acting crazy like them and everything. And they'll be laughing at you and stuff like they probably be whooping your ass. It's not worth it, bro. I've been there, done that. I'm not, I'm not can't do it. I'm too old now. So guys, what do you think it's your boy Shady Dex? Back at it again with another episode of Survey Drunk. Put your fire, you do survey. We're out.